Wonders 2020, Nintendo Switch Year in Review. Let's take a look back at your playtime with the Nintendo Switch system in 2020 and see how we stacked up against 2019. Thanks for tuning into the Streets of Rage Quit, you sore losers. One half of the Streets of Rage Quit here with Lee Casey, and I thought I'd take a couple of minutes just to kind of review and go through what Nintendo has posted as a year roundup. So basically what we're looking at are my stats for every time I've played Nintendo Switch this year, the games that were the hottest in my library, how many hours I've accumulated playing certain games. I kind of have a feeling Animal Crossing might be number one, but this is the first time that I'm actually taking a look at these stats. And I wanted to record a live reaction with you guys and we can kind of go over those results that I had for the Switch. So as we scroll down, it says, thank you for making us part of your well-rounded free time this year. What kind of player were you this year? A getaway traveler. You like to realize the potential of a deserted island. Yes, yes. See, Animal Crossing taking the cake very early on. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, 2020 in hindsight, your total hours played. 1,136 hours. That is way up from 2019, 272 hours. And I'd also like to take a mention too that I ended up getting a brand new Switch in um, August of 2019. So the 272 hours that were tallied from this were probably from August all the way through to December. Um, so even that is pretty impressive in and of itself, I would say. As we scroll down, I have played 35 different games on Nintendo Switch. Uh, in 2019, I played 23 of those. As we keep scrolling, your most played games by the hours. We've got Animal Crossing New Horizons at number one, Tokyo Mirage Sessions at number two, Valhalla, which is arguably my breakout game of the year, at number three, River City Girls at number four, you know, me and Jesse threw down with that all year, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate rounding out with number five. In 2019, I spent the most time playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, AI The Somnium Files, Smash Ultimate, Pokemon Sword, and Sonic Mania. Most active day by hours, Thursday, July the 9th. Your monthly activity in hours. Holy moly. In May, I put 195 hours in there. Wow. June, 169. And you could tell where the Animal Crossing spike came in March because we see 130 hours tallied right there. So that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Now, I'm looking at 59 hours for October here, and that makes the most sense because that was a very busy month for me on a personal note. I was moving, I was taking care of a lot of things uh, in regards to family, and uh, you know what? The fact that I was able to make 59 hours in that very busy month uh, goes to show a lot for that system. Uh, looks like the most active day was on Wednesday, December 4th of 2019, and that was most certainly a Fire Emblem Three Houses day. Your total earned my Nintendo gold points, 3,367. Uh, I don't know what that would do <laughs> for my personal account. I'm assuming that um, those were all redeemed already. Uh, your approximate number of games played starring Super Mario. There's three of them this year. Your completed Mario missions on my Nintendo, one mission. I have no idea what uh, my Nintendo Mario missions are, but I've completed one of them, so I am very happy to see that. I'm gonna look into that more because I'm very curious now. What's next? New year, new fun. Based on your play history, here's a few games uh, we think you might like. We've got Disgaea 5 Complete, Wonder Boy, Dragon's Trap, Final Fantasy 7, which is downloaded on my system. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which I'd like to tackle on stream with you guys eventually. And Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. So, not only do they give you the roundabout stats for 2020, they give you recommendations as to what games you might enjoy based off of your play history. Which I think is pretty cool in and of itself. You know, the Nintendo Switch has thousands of games in their eShop and sometimes it might be a little convoluted as to try to figure out which game would suit the particular needs that you would like to play. And on that note, we end with a little message from Nintendo saying, thanks for playing, see you in 2021. Now, the episodes and the fun aren't gonna stop here on the streets of Rage Quit for another week or so. You know, even through the holidays, the show must go on and we uh, look forward to delivering even more exciting content for you guys. I just thought it would be super cool to capture my play stats and reaction on the channel for you guys to take a look at. Let me know what your guys' stats were, how many hours that you've put into video games. What was your number one this year? What was the most 
uh, anticipated game on your list for 2021. What game lived up to your expectations for 2020? You know, join in on the discussion in the comments below, and we will see you very soon for another exciting episode of Streets of Rage Quit. I'll sleep